Hello all, Project Wargaming here with an update on uh, some projects that I've been working on. Back to 3D printing and 3D modeling, and I have moved into modeling railroad track. Uh, the reason for this is because I, uh, Dad and I are in, our, in the middle of our uh, ACW campaign, and a number of our battles involve a railroad track, and I've just not been satisfied with the Z-scale uh, track that I've been using. This works okay. It it's fine. I usually buy this. Uh, I think from model modelrailroadstuff.com or one of those supplies. It's not terribly pricey, um, but it comes in three foot strips, and so it's pretty easy to work. This is what I used on the uh, Battle of Berlin board to uh, get it. But you know, when you put it on the board, it really it's it's hard to bend. And it's hard to keep in that bend unless you have something underneath of it that you can tack through, tack through. And so it's really just kind of straight runs with not much character. The other thing is, is that it just lays flat on the table. And so the grass and the river and everything else just show through, shows through. And that just, you know, it just doesn't look as, as pretty as um, I think it could be. So what I decided to do was try my hand at modeling some uh, railroad track. I had originally done this. This was one of the first things that I tried to model over a year ago on Tinker, Tinkercad. It didn't go, come out well. I tried to model it in six millimeter exact, and it was just too small. And this is a Z scale, which is I think one twenty two hundred twentieth. Obviously, six millimeter stuff is uh, one three hundredth, and so um, this is a little bit bigger. But I th I think that it looks uh, really good on the table, and uh, it's big enough that you can see it. But it's not overwhelming, and it's it's not obnoxiously bigger than the models. So, um, anyways, I I decided that I also when I modeled these, I definitely wanted to put a base underneath of them. So just kind of that built up area that is always uh, supporting the track. Um, so I got that modeled there, hollowed it out a little bit underneath. Um, so not quite as much resin gets used. And I think it also helps it from, from being warped uh, as it uh, uh, dries or uh, uh, cures. And yeah, so Anyways, the, all the pieces fit together really nicely. Uh, I have a number of uh, curves and then also junctions um, that I've worked on with the help of uh, a friend of mine. Uh, they helped me get the bigger curves because Tinkercad was it was pretty tough to, to get that. So um, I was able to do a little bit of this in Blender and combine these two together. So this is my first little go at uh, actually using Blender for some of my models here. But uh, yeah, very happy with the product and how they've come out. I've taken the time to actually paint a little section up here. Uh, you can see that I added some texture in here and all that is is I just used some uh, wood glue after I spray painted it. Um, put some wood glue on top of that and then just used a little bit of uh, spackling um, grout to give me the texture and then put some grouts there and brushed it off in the middle and use some uh, scenic glue to, to tack that down. So that uh, is how I will finish these off, but I think they look really good on the table. Um, it just makes it, I think it's just going to look uh, a lot prettier on the table. Uh, I printed off a ton of these. Um, I plan to actually glue these together in longer segments. Um, I've also had luck just smushing these together on the uh, slicer program and then giving me different shapes or, or giving me different combinations. So that is something that works. The other thing that I've been working on is uh, railroad trestles. And so you can see here that I have two different designs. Uh, the back one here, I think they called it a bean pole. Uh, trestles and these were kind of the replacement or the fast build uh, trestles that they would do when something got uh, destroyed or when they needed to, to to put a railroad spur through to something to to give them supply this is more of your standard uh you know trestle that's that's really well supported um this i think 
putting it on the table and putting it beside six millimeter. This looks a little small to me, but you know, I think, I think it'll work. And then these, these I think, uh, work fine as well too. So, um, it's not to, to perfect scale, obviously, but I think on the table from three foot away, uh, playing, this is going to look better than just simply running this track across the, the creeks and, and things that I have out there. So, um, so that's what I've been working on. Um, happy to, uh, keep messing around with them. Uh, I've played around a lot with them and, uh, I plan to put these up on my website. So I'm going to tinker around just a little bit more and fine tune them. And then once they're up, I will let you guys know. We will talk to you later. Bye.